go for it. Yeah! <laughs>do I need a real estate agent? Well, Leonardo Di Questiono, you need a real estate agent because they are awesome and they do a lot for you. I'll go into it a little bit more in a few minutes. Don't want to tell you everything and all the secrets as to why you need a real estate agent. So let's go talk about it a little bit with my buddy. up guys <clears throat> we're over here with my buddy justin mitchell at midtown barbershop uh, the owner of midtown Bar barbershop uh, he's been cutting my hair for forever but what's also awesome is he is a past client of mine what what made you want to use a real estate agent in general i uh didn't get a whole lot of help from my first real estate agent and then segueing into my current experience with you uh i ended up having a great experience because you took the load off of my shoulders my wife and myself were able to still work. You know, you spearheaded all the, the things that we needed to navigate through. And it just took, it took the simplicity to a whole other scale and it made it just way more enjoyable. Uh, on the buy side, it, that's the most exciting. The sales side can be very taxing because you're like, oh my God, I gotta sell my house. I wanna make sure it sells. I hope Derek's doing everything. Well, I feel like I did a pretty good job at making everything a little mainstream, keeping you up to date, making sure everything went smooth as possible for you guys. I feel that way too. When we had repairs, you got us fixed up. Mm -hmm. When we had to do small changes, you got us fixed up. When we had to rush to find a new home to build, or new home to buy rather, you got us fixed up. Mm -hmm. And it just, it was just a nice experience all the way around. It's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Indeed so. I love that. Derek took all the weight off our shoulders and he just basically told me and my wife, go to work and don't worry about it. I've got your back. And I was able to put my hands in my pocket and walk away and Derek took care of everything. So these are things that you need to be looking for in any agent. It doesn't matter who you meet with, you need to interview the agent. You know, talk to them about repairs, if the repairs come out, what's their plan, what's their uh, plan of action, what are, how are they gonna help you with those repairs on the listing side. Talk with them about what they're gonna do to sell your property, what type of uh, marketing they're gonna do. Uh, make sure they have a marketing plan. If they don't have anything that they bring, then you need to do an interview with another agent. It's just, these are the things that you need to think about when buying, selling uh, with an agent. But the process should feel easy, stress-free, fluid. It all should go smooth. And thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. I know you're a busy man. You got about 100 people waiting outside, so I'm going to let you go do your thing. Always a pleasure, brother. Yeah, thanks. thanks seeing you, brother. Have a good day. We're really good at slapping hands. Yeah. <laughs> All right, brother. How you been? Doing good. And yourself? Doing great, man. Doing great. Why is it that you chose me as your realtor? Why do you think it's important to have a realtor? Yeah, I guess I've been uh, been with you in your realtor career since day one. You know, uh, you sold sold my first house. We, me and my wife, Bill, um, found us the second one. Just made it such a smooth transaction. It's just easy to have somebody that knows what needs done in the deal and what what direction to go. You ever read a contract before? That's like asking if you ever read like a phone agreement before you signed it. Same thing. You know, That's yeah, a great know. way to put it. <laughs> have you ever read one to the point where you were representing yourself on one of the biggest investments you'll ever make in your entire life? and you have a contract, would you have wanted to go through that contract yourself and be like, I know all of this stuff, I get it, and I'm just gonna negotiate it myself? No. You can almost use a slide of hand on a contract. Okay. Changing a word, and to or, can change a whole outlook of the deal. 100%. 100%. So, so why would I want that on my hands? On one of the most, the biggest investments you have to make in your life. Yes, I agree, 1,000%. That's my responsibility.
right? That's my fiduciary responsibility as a realtor is to know those contracts like the back of my hand, um, to know what I'm looking at when I see it, to go through it and go through the breakdown. When we met uh, and after we wrote up the contract, when we wrote up the contract and went over it, I went over it almost line item for line item to the point where you understood every single thing that was in the contract yourself. So you understood what you were really offering from the time that we sit down for your buyer's meeting uh, and go over the paperwork for you using me as your realtor to the time that we write a contract to the time that we do any amendments, repair amendments, etc. Uh, all of those things come together, but they're, they're all that way because I do my homework. Like this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I do. This is my job. This is my career. And I love it. What's up, guys? Hey, what up? How are you? Good, how are you? How are you? Hello. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to come over and talk to you a little bit about a question that we got on the show that I am interested in hearing your opinion about because you are some past clients of mine. Why should I hire an agent? Uh, so I wanted to talk to you about why did you hire me as your agent? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, well, first of all, why did we hire you as an agent? One, we had already heard about you and, you know, what you had done for other people that happened to be members of our club. Two, we'd never gone through the process before. Mm. You were able to guide us, all right, here's step one, here's step two, here's step three, that literally walked us through the process and kept it from being a scenario where we obsessed over it and stressed about it and freaked out. We kind of had a house that we liked, but we felt like it was overpriced and we talked about it with you and I was in another state. She was a one seven months pregnant at the time going yeah. through <laughs> looking at these houses and kind of had like a freak out. Oh my gosh, I don't know if we made the right decision walking away from this house and, and you were kind of able to, you know, within a, a matter of hours go, hey, look, check it out. This was a house that you liked. I just found four more houses that I kind of think were better than what those were and you know sure enough one of those houses you showed us that day ended up being the house that you know we put in an offer and thanks to you having a better relationship with that realtor and having a better relationship with everybody involved we were able to get the house over the other people that put a bid in the same day. You emailing us was like with step by step everything was I don't know. I felt like that was like the most helpful thing humanly possible. Especially because you were pregnant. Right. Yeah. You were pregnant by yourself. He was gone. I definitely feel like that's helpful, but you know, not only that, but the whole scenario where it's, I don't know if we made the right decision backing away from this house and not meeting their asking price. And then hours later, oh, here's some more houses. Bam, one of those houses was a house we picked and we only got it because he had a freaking relationship with the other <laughs> Like there was four offers put in on the same day that were all the same price. And they said, well, we're choosing Derek because Derek and Matt, we have a better relationship with the two of them. And they said that they're good buyers, so we're going to do them. Yeah. Like that was literally the reason we got the house. I surround myself with a team of people, so Matt being the lender, when you have those relationships with not only the lender or have those relationships with the other agent or... However, you're able to find those deals and I'm just glad it really worked out for you guys, especially with the little one on the way and now here, yeah. uh, as cute as ever, having a blast. I'm really glad it all worked out. I'm really glad that you guys trusted me with the, the buy of your home. As you can see, I treat my past clients like my friends. I treat my it, people I've never met before, even if they're clients for the first time I've just met them, they're still gonna be my friend. Uh, that's just kind of how I run my business. So hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Derek Trainer with Cubs Real Estate. Tune in next week. It's going to be a good one. Why do I need a real estate agent? Leonardo de Questiono. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> oh my God. Can't open the door. <laughs> oh, that was so that you. I don't know why I keep saying that. I just I, I say things that make no sense. But you were like, look, man, I trust you, uh, and whatever your your thought is on this whole process, 
I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> oh, it's just far out of it. Action. <laughs> now it's never gonna happen. Get to the job now. Now, yeah, right. <laughs> um, uh, this is Derek Trainer, Compass Real Estate. I, I don't know. Whenever you open that door, probably. <laughs>